Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Thursday, the 18th of August 2016. Please do visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. So, tradesignaler.com. Okay, in terms of market price action, let's just do a rundown here, folks. Uh, in terms of uh, the um, Asian market, certainly down overnight, the Nikkei certainly under pressure. Okay, we had the um, a Shanghai under pressure as well. We've had the weaker, although the Hang Seng did actually uh, finish stronger. We've had the weakness in uh, Japanese exports and Japanese imports. We've had the yen certainly surging with a dip below 100 overnight. So again, all indicating risk aversion. We've had the FOMC minutes yesterday as well. Uh, the FOMC minutes certainly mixed. Uh, the best way of describing them was hawkishly dovish. Okay. So certainly earning on the side of hawk, uh, hawkish price action, or hawkish uh, rhetoric as opposed to dovish, even though they state that they need more data. But the recent data has been uh, one of signaling further hikes. So again, September may well be a possibility. It certainly is on the cards based on the incoming data. Okay, now in terms of um, other variables, the Aussie and Kiwi certainly under pressure overnight as the dollar itself certainly makes a potential base. So if I bring up the US dollar chart, Okay, you can see on the 60 minutes here that we are making a potential double bottom, looking to potentially bounce on the dollar index. Okay, so itself, so we initially, obviously, once we've got the uh, potential minutes, we're starting to sell off on the dollar. And you can see here the dollar index now is starting to potentially build a base and starting to move higher and therefore sending um, Aussie and Kiwi uh, certainly lower. Although the euro certainly is holding up strong this morning due to the French unemployment numbers coming in stronger, uh, European inflation uh, on flat to potentially on the weaker side although that's having no effect given the fact that the european trade balance certainly came in stronger than expected uh, in terms of uh, uk data retail sales certainly coming out much stronger than expected okay so retail sales coming out stronger than expected and thereby indicating a um, no more rate uh, cuts or potential qe given the fact that the economic data as of late certainly has been very very stir and therefore it negates the, the need or the argument for more QE and therefore sending the FTSE 100 spiraling lower, okay? Now let's look at the actual uh, technical setup here, folks, okay? So given the fact that the Euro USD is at the 1.13 level, that is one of the key uh, obstacles for the German DAX to move higher as it hurts exports, okay? Remember, given the fact that Japanese imports were down overnight, it certainly reduces the, the probability of, of Germany exporting. And given the fact that Euro USD is above 1.13 again, certainly hurts the export picture. Okay. Now, we do have an unfilled gap that needs to close below, given the fact that the Nikkei certainly is down overnight, given the fact that we've got risk aversion uh, settling in, given the fact that we have bearish patterns on the S&P and the Nasdaq, you are looking for that potential gap to close below. Okay, so that really is the uh, the theme. The 60-minute chart, given the fact that we are now into lower lows and lower highs, you have an unfilled gap below, which is seen around the 10300 level. That certainly is a potential possibility. Looking at the daily chart, the German DAX is an inside bar, given the fact that yesterday's bearish engulfing candle certainly has caused damage and carnage although you do have this diagonal trend line forcing up uh, but again uh, the 10480 or 10500 level certainly needs to be uh, potentially um, tested okay and you do have the unfilled gap below as well that may well need to be uh, closed so again watch out for the uh, the gap below okay in terms of the actual uh, french cac let's just look at the french cac for you let's look at the daily chart okay so daily chart you're into uh, uh, you have bearish uh, uh, so basically it's a bearish candle so consolidation within the red candle okay looking again to potentially break down so you have this uh, key level here so you have a 4300 certainly to potentially uh, close on the downside so watch out for that gap although you have this diagonal trend line uh, obviously uh, support level as well so certainly observe and watch this folks okay looking at the 60 minute chart of the, the actual French CAC given the fact that we've had stronger employment data certainly bear that in mind okay so the french cac certainly will be uh, well supported from that perspective having said that though a stronger euro again is negative for the uh, actual exports side of the equation and therefore looking for weakness on the french cac too terminate chart the french cac certainly weaker than the german dax okay already are closing the gap as we speak so again certainly is bearish okay folks so bear that in mind in terms of the FTSE 100, again, looking to potentially retest the lows. We've gone with the low of 6.860 thus far, looking to potentially retest 6.850, really on the FTSE 100, given the fact that, like I said, it reduces the chances of further QE, and therefore the FTSE certainly remains under pressure. So 
looking for further weakness on the FTSE, okay? 60-minute chart on the FTSE 100 again. Uh, your next real potential bastion of support is around the 6820 on the 60-minute chart. You do have obviously double bottom here at 6850. So if 6850 were to go, then you are looking for a straight move lower. So just bear that in mind, okay? <clears throat> Daily chart, the FTSE. Really, it's all about retesting that 6780 uh, zone on the daily chart. So again, looking for further weakness, okay? In terms of Euro stocks, let's just look at the Euro stocks here. So again, looking at the Euro stocks, looking at the Euro stocks on the daily chart, okay? Daily chart, again, you have uh, bearish consolidation. Really, it's more of a bear flag formation that's uh, certainly pending to, uh, in order to come to fruition. Okay, the next potential support is gap fill, which is seen at 2970. Okay, 2970. And then you do have obviously potential further support below. So watch out for that zone. Okay, in terms of the euro stocks, let me just redraw this diagonal trend line. Probably will be more helpful if I were to draw it this way. Bear with me. So I'll just take it from here to here. Okay, so yes, so very certainly in, uh, in a downtrend, lower lows, low highs, and whether or not we can close this gap below, given the fact that we have a stronger euro at 2975. So watch out for 2975 below. Okay, so again, uh, summation really, given the fact that the FTSE itself is weak, German uh, or European equities are under pressure due to the um, stronger euro and the FTSE due to the lack of further QE coming forward down the down the pipeline. Again, you are looking for a risk aversion trade and looking for the markets to sell off. Okay, on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the uh, potential bonus. Goodbye now.